Well, hello there, my fellow rushers. How are you doing today? King Rex here. And today we're continuing on with our ch Let's Chill and Build series. And for today, we're going to be starting to work on the inside part of the kingdom. As you can see, I finished up this wall on on uh, this side. And the good thing is that I've added uh, the same pattern as the previous one, so there's no anything different. The other thing is that I also added the pattern for the tower on the inner side as well. So as you can see, it looks really dope. It looks really mystic. And there's a nice little pathway that goes up. And it's pretty long. But as you can see here, we have a house. And you're probably thinking, what are we going to do with it? Well, we're going to rebuild it. Because this is going to be the main house design for the most part. This is going to be like the middle class uh, house type. You know, for the for a type of villagers who are not poor, but they're not like that rich. So yeah, this is going to be like the medium-sized uh, house. And yeah, I've already made a pathway for it, so yeah, it's going to be right around here. So how are we going to do it? Well, it's pretty simple. We're going to be using mostly stripped birch log, as well as the birch uh, planks for uh, the design. And for glass, I decided to pick the yellow stained glass because, I don't know, I just kind of like it. So we're going to make a three block gap right here, and we're going to add some... Add some... Uh, birch log then we're gonna leave five spaces these are four so we need to add five more spaces then we're gonna make another five spaces right around here so one two three four five make a space then we're gonna do it again five spaces one two three four five then you want to add another log right here make sure it's matching this one then you want to leave a three block gap then you want to add another five block gap so this is one, two, three, four. Oops, there you go. This is five. Then you want to add another here and one more here. And that's generally the design of uh, the building. It doesn't look too bad. So for uh, it's going to be four blocks tall. That's how big the building is going to be. And we're gonna, the rest of it is going to be filled up with uh, the birch uh, planks. And we're going to leave some space for the windows. For the bigger window, it's going to look something like this on the five space on uh, the places where we have uh, five blocks instead of three it's gonna look like this for the tree the for the places where we have three it's gonna be a little more uh, different so for, for example right around here even though here we have five we're gonna make it a little bit more different we don't want a big window here we want a kind of a smaller one you know we don't want to make the windows too repetitive so on this side, we're going to add a small window, which is going to look something like this. And it's not that bad, generally speaking. Now here, you can rather add a big window or a small window, it's all up to you. However, make sure that these three spaces are filled with cobblestone, because this is where the fireplace is going to be. As far as the doorways go, there's going to be a doorway right here, and a doorway right here. And as always... Above, above the door, make sure to add the birch stairs upside down to give it more, uh, to, to give it more style in a way. So yeah, with that out of the way, I'm gonna get working. I need to get these guys all the way up to their appropriate height, and I'll be back in a split second. All right, it is almost finished. We just need to add this pillar, and boom, there you go. That's how the house is supposed to look like. Now, what are we gonna add? Well, first things first, we need to make sure that the windows are filled up. Again, I've picked the yellow stained glass because I think it, I think it looks pretty good in conjunction with uh, the birch. Although you can use uh, other types of glass, it's not necessary to stick to the one that I'm using. There's other options, but I do like the look of this one, so I'm gonna stick to it for uh, this house design, house design in particular. For the doorway, you can pick whatever you want. I usually like the birch doors because they look very fancy. You can also add a regular oak door, but I think the birch one is just... Eh. How can you resist it? I mean, look at that. Look at how fancy it looks. I would say this one is going to be the one that I'm using. So we're gonna add one here and one over there. So, now what's going on? What do we need to do? Well, we need to do the roof. So for the roof, you want to do it like this. Then here, you want to go something like that. Although... You want to leave one space here because there's going to be a very small window popping out of there. So make sure to leave one space. Just like that. And boom. There you go. Now we're going to be adding some uh, stairs like this. We're also going to make an arc way. Because a roof is not a roof without a proper arc. At least in my eyes. 
And yeah, it's pretty simple. However, once you get to this part of the roof, that's when uh, this small roof is gonna intervene with the bigger one. So what are you gonna do? It's pretty simple. Once you get to this uh, point, just get a get a slab, connect it up to here, and put and just put it right around here or here. We'll see. So without any further ado, let me get to work, and I'll see you on the other side in a minute. And with that. Everything is done. This is how it's supposed to look like. I also filled up the gaps with the yellow stained glass because, as I said, this is the one that I really feel like it. You can also change it if you want, but I'm gonna stick to it. Now for the roof. For the roof, there's something that you should know. We need to make this a one block higher. Yeah, you're gonna make it one block higher so that way the roof actually matches. If you don't make it one roof, if you don't make it the proper size, then it's not gonna look good. Let's just say that. So we we'll, we'll want to do it like this. However, it doesn't. The same doesn't go for this little area right here. You want to keep it the same. You don't want to increase the the size of it. But here, you do want to increase it by one block. Trust me, it's gonna come together in a minute. For that, let's do this. This. And now, what do we do? Well, it's pretty simple. First of all, we need to fill this up. You can fill it up with the correct block or not, but I'm just gonna fill it up with this block because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter too much. Trust me on that, it's not gonna matter all that much, if at all. So yeah, we wanna fill up mostly the back side and the front side. So we fill them up. And now what do we do? Well, now we grab the stairs and we start working. We gotta get everything all the way around. And that's gonna take a while. And one little thing about this portion of this of the smaller roof, which is gonna be on the front side. Once you get to this area, which should be somewhere around here-ish, I think. Yeah, it's, it's right around here. Just, uh, they're gonna connect. Don't worry. This roof is gonna connect with this one perfectly. It's not gonna look bad, it's not gonna look too odd, it's gonna be perfectly normal. So yeah, don't worry about it too much. Now we also need to make an arc, and I'm gonna show you how to do it, because honestly there's not much to it, arcs, roof arcs are very simple to do. I'm not sure why one of my friends who I play Minecraft with doesn't understand how to make roof arcs, but let me show you how it's done. Okay, so you, wanna look, you want it to look like this, then you make this step, because that adds a lot of depth to it. Then you want to add one, one stair here. Then you want to add a slab, and then you can do one uh, birch stair right here. That's the simplest one. You can also make it fancy and make it go like this. Oops. You can make it go like this. You know, you can make it super, super long. But, uh, yeah, for this design, I'm not going to do it. It's a little too complicated for some people, so we're going to stick to the simple one. But anyhow, it's time to start working on the roof, so yeah. I'll pay, I'll, I'll pay your attention in a minute, once I'm finished. Alright, the roof is officially done, as you can see, the arcs are looking splendidly good. Mmm, love them. But, you may notice something. What is this big hole in the roof? Um, <clears throat> who would live in a house like this? Chill out, for those of you who are asking. This is gonna be the chimney, duh. So, what are we gonna do now? Well, before we get to the chimney himself, we need to do a little adjustments here. So, first of all, we're gonna make a nice little window right around here. We're gonna do it like this. It's gonna be a pretty tiny one, as you can see. It's pretty hard to notice, but it is there. And we're gonna repeat this process for uh, this part right here. We wanna add one here. We wanna close it up. Or do we? Let me check, because I don't remember, actually. Oh no, you know what? I remember now how to do it. What we want to do is we want to go for this stuff. There you go. That's how it's supposed to look like. Let me let me fix it real quick. Because I thought I thought it was a different model for some reason. I guess I put it like one block uh, higher than it should be. So let's fix this. Boom and boom. There you go. Now it looks much better. So for the chimney himself, what do we want to do? Well, first of all, we want to extend it and make it like this. We want to go right around here. Then we want to fill it up. Fill it up with cobblestone. We want to make it... Let me check. 
Yeah, we want to make it two blocks taller than this part, so... Yeah, two. There you go. We want to add two blocks. Let me just count it. One, two, three, four, five. This one was five or six. I think it was six. One, two, three, four, five. No, that's what... Two, three... Yeah, it's five. For some reason, I thought it was six. I keep forgetting stuff today. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because of the weather. It's pretty depressing. My mind doesn't just doesn't want to cooperate with me for some reason. So, what do we want to do? Well, we want to find out where the cobblestone stairs are. And we want to make a nice little opening right here. But not too far, obviously. So we're going to close it up right here. And we want to start rounding this up. We're going to round it up like so. With this stuff. Then, what you want to do is you want to uh, accidentally destroy it. Oopsies. So we're going to do it like this. We're going to repeat it one more time. We're going to repeat the same pattern. And that's when we're going to add the cobblestone uh, walls. That's when they come into play. Or actually, we'll see. We'll see if we'll add them. Maybe I'm lying to you. Maybe we're not. Just look at the other build and tell me if we're going to add them. Okay. Anyway, uh, do this. Do that. And... Boom. There you go. Looks nice. Now let's add the cobblestone walls. If I can find them. They should be here. Yep. There you go. We're gonna surround the chimney. And I'm probably thinking, well, there's no smoke coming out. What are you gonna do? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some uh, hay bales. Because they're gonna be needed. As well as one campfire. So we're gonna add, we wanna add two blocks of this, of this stuff alongside campfire and all of a sudden would you look at that we have smoke coming out of the chimney now which is wonderful you know looks pretty good it's very nice now this one i think i added a little bit more no nah, i think it, i think they're around the same height for some reason i thought i added more uh, hay bales on the other chimney than this one but they look similar enough so what are we gonna do now first things first we need to make a uh, the floor of this place and light it up because there's bats coming up and I hate bats. At least in Minecraft. So the floor is going to be out of this specific block. Stripped jungle wood. I know. A block that nobody uses, but trust me, it's gonna look good. Let me show you. Alright. Well, would you look at that? To me, this floor looks splendid. And yeah, we're done with that part. Now we need to make the fireplace. So we're gonna destroy these three blocks. We're gonna add this stuff. And we want to do a pretty specific pattern. So, you want to go for it. Cobblestone wall here. Another cobblestone wall right there. One here. Then, th for this part, you want to fill it up with cobblestone stair. So, let me grab one of them real quick. Boom. And then, you can just fill up the floor. Just like that. You can fill it up nice and easily. We're going to fill it up with the regular... Uh, birch wood though, because, you know, I just went to. No particular reason, really, just I wanted it. So we're gonna fill it up like that. We're gonna leave some space here though, because it's gonna be important. You'll see why in a minute. And yeah, for the fireplace. Besides making the base structure, you also want to make it functional. You want to add stuff to it. You can't just leave it like that. It just looks bad, right? So what are we gonna do? Well... The answer to that is very, very simple, my fellow rushers. It's very simple. Let me just add these few blocks that are left. And wait. Oop, there you go. Okay, so what do we do here? Well, first of all, punch this block right out of here. It's disgusting. We don't want to see nothingness. We're going to add a nice little furnace right there. And for this space, we're going to add um, a, we're gonna add a campfire. And you can add a hay bale if you want. I'm just gonna add one because I'm feeling it. I just want a hay bale. Uh, that's not how you spell hay. Uh, there we go. Um, Alright. We're gonna place one here. We're gonna add a campfire. We're gonna replace this block with cobblestone. Just so whenever someone looks down and into the campfire, he doesn't see it. Because it will be kind of embarrassing. And let's fill this one up once again. Boom. There you go. You have your nice fireplace, and you have a functional furnace. Alright. With that out of the way, now we need to make a room. 
We need to make a pretty small room. It's not gonna be like gigantic or anything. It's just a small separation. So let's grab our, the um, birch wood again. And we're gonna separate it right from here. This is gonna be the main point that we separate it. So it's gonna look something like this. And you wanna add a birch stair right here. You could also make the fireplace a little bit smaller if you want, but eh, I feel like this is good enough. So, we're gonna get to the interior later on. This is probably gonna be towards the end of the video, just so you know. Now we need to work on uh, the garden. For the garden, it's very easy. You wanna grab birch fences, which look pretty cool, by the way. And you wanna surround this little area with the fence. Then, you wanna locate the center of, uh, of the building. You want to punch a hole through it, you want to grab a bucket of water, then you want to add the water, then you grab a hoe, giggity, and after that you just grab a bunch of food. You can grab uh, whatever you want. I'm just going to go for something random. I'm going to pick... Let me think. Care? Actually... And let's pick berries. Let's pick up berries, why not? So you want to dig this up. Besides these two, you want to leave these two completely fine. But everything else, you gotta dig it up. And then, you just add the sweet berries. Or whatever, you can add anything you want. I'm just adding the berries because, for the sake of simplicity. And then, to show you how it's gonna look like, we're gonna grab a bone meal. And we're gonna go like this. And there you go. It's gonna look something like this. Now, the guy who lives here has a nice little garden that he can enjoy himself into and just, you know, raise his own uh, fruits. Or whatever. And yeah, it looks relatively good. This one is not fully grown. There you go. I think everything should be fully grown now. At least I think so. Alright, the garden is done. Then you can just add some uh, bone meal right around this area. Then you want to pick a sapling of any sort. I'm just going to pick birch because, you know, the house is made out of birch, so it makes sense. Now for the spacing, it kind of depends. For this for this house, I placed it uh, right around this po portion of the build. So in this case, it's going to be somewhere around here. This area seems to be pretty good, right? Let me double check. Mm, actually, it could be one block further. Right around here. Let's grow it up, and there you go. Now you have a tree, and you have a little garden for yourself. And now let's get to the fun part, interior. I'll be back in a second, and you're gonna see how this house looks like on the inside. Alright, well, the tower, uh, the house is completely done. So, let's see how it looks on the inside. As you can see, this is pretty much the main entrance area. You have a couple of chests with a barrel that you can put stuff in. You also have some uh, flags going on here, some torches, a nice little table with two chairs, a nice little icon. Here's the fireplace, a little bit more decorated now. Also, I forgot to fill up this gap. Oops, my bad. Let me just do that. There you go. Now it looks much better. There's the main living area. There's the there's a like place where you can put your clothes in. This is basically dyed uh, leather armor. For those of you who don't know, I dyed it in a different color so that way it looks a little bit better. Then there's also a nice carpet that you can walk up to. Here's a nice table, you can just sit here, read, or write, stuff like that. Whatever people do in medieval times. Then there's also some more storage, pictures here and there, some bookshelves. Here, and there's also a nice little axe that you can get in case you are called in and, you, and you're drafted, you have, you have a weapon. And then here's your garden where you can just take a look. Collect your berries and just chill. You know, look at look out what's going on in the other side. And then we also have this little room, which is basically the living quarters. Also, I'm not sure how this door works, but whatever. Here's the living quarters. We have some little carpet, beds, picture, some flowers. I'm not sure what flower that one is, but I think I may it may I may or may not have picked something from the nether, so oopsies. And yeah, crafting table, chest, pretty standard. And then once you go up in here, this is basically the attic. And you have a bunch of storage, some old pictures, a little bit of cogwebs going on, some random stuff. And then once you go through here, this is basically the storage area where you have a bunch of chests where you can store stuff in. 
And this is basically from the fireplace, in case you're confused as to what this cobblestone is. And, I mean, I can remove it, but it's not gonna matter that much, so we're just gonna leave it as it is. It doesn't bother me, if it bothers you, then you can remove it, but you may have to do some other adjustments. Just so you know. And yeah, this is pretty much how most of these houses are gonna look like. They may differ in the interior slightly, but for the most part, this is how the general design is going to look like. We're probably gonna add at least... Probably 8 more, maybe even 10, I, I don't know. We'll see how much time I have and I'll just add them up like that. And we'll see how it's gonna go. Comment down below if you like the design or if you want me to change something. We can add new new types of houses. It's all up to you guys. And yeah, well, with that out of the way, that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you for sticking around to the end. Subscribe if you want to see more of this content in the future. And while you're at it, drop a like on the video. It means a lot to me. And I will see you in the next video. Until it comes, that was King Rexy. Over and out.